Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Praise the Lord, everybody on IBFN. Amen. Praise the Lord, everybody in IBFN studio. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. We are glad to have you join us today for our 74th broadcast. For our 74th broadcast. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes. 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 We are glad to be here on our 74th broadcast by the grace of God. Amen. And the fire station up the road is doing the job. <laughs> Amen to that. Amen. And uh, today we are going to be discussing uh, from 2 Samuel chapter 6 mm. all the way to chapter 12, what mm. we've been discussing this week. Mm. And we have some insights we want to share. We yes. also want to invite you to keep posting, keep mm. uh, sending your um, inspiration that you have received mm. of the Lord. We have yes. just come from the prayer session mm. with the wonderful members. And now here we are. Mm. inviting you to be part of what is happening here. Mm -hmm. Let's pray before we go on. Mm. In Jesus' name, our Father, we thank you yes, for Lord. today. We thank you for our dear members. Yes, and we thank you for those whom we have sent, even mm. to be encouraged by this thank word. You, we Jesus. pray that your spirit would speak through to us and mm. may your word become clear. Mm. And where we go wrong, Heavenly Father, may you correct us mm. and bring us to the understanding of what you have planned yes. and what you have purposed according to your word. Mm. We give you praise and we give you glory. Give mm. us ears that can listen, hearts mm. that can be taught, and minds that are open to your influence. In mm. Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. And amen. amen. Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. All right. So, yes. my name is Shadrach. And I'm Ryla Dem. Great. Yep. And here we are. This is what we do. Yes. IBFN is all about the Bible. Yes. Since we began, we are going mm -hmm. through the Bible from Genesis to, to Revelation. Revelation. And uh, that is from January to December. Mm -hmm. And hoping to encourage as many people as we possibly can mm -hmm. to say, at least, I have read the Bible from cover to, to cover. cover. Quick note. Mm. This is not for, um, for pride to say, I have read the Bible. This is to get the full mm. counsel of God. Yes. We appreciate the wonderful work being done by pastors out mm. there. Mm. We celebrate pastors. Every Monday is Pastor Monday. We pray yes. for pastors on Monday. Yes. And if you have not seen the post, be aware. Mm. Every Monday, it's time to think about your pastor and, and just bring them, them in prayer. Mm. And also to let them know that you appreciate mm. the sermon. Yes. And uh, also learn from what they're teaching you because they're mm. laboring with yeah. this word of God. Mm. Uh, and, and so, uh, we just want to thank the Lord for the many, many, many servants of God out there who are yes. doing a great and wonderful job. Yes. And uh, thank you for being here. If you, mm. this is your first time, this mm. is IBFN, yes. Infinity Bible Fellowship, Fellowship Network. Network. Amen. I've just admitted Alvo. Alvo. And who joined us in the prayer. He was in the prayer, right? Yes, yes. Welcome. Karibu sana in IBFN. Karibu. We thank God for you. Amen. Yes. Amen. Yes. Okay. Mm. So straight away, let's go into the word. Mm. Second Samuel chapter six uh, to verse twelve. If you look in your uh, Facebook page, mm. every day there is a posting with a very bold. Our name is there, IBFN, mm. and mm. the day is there, Monday. Mm. Mm. And then you have uh, in smaller letters yes. the chapters you are supposed to read. There are very mm. few chapters, mm. and we re we discovered mm. it takes only about ten minutes to fifteen minutes yes. to read through entire that. <laughs> but it takes half an hour to forty-five minutes to read what's up. So I want to challenge us what on social media. Yes. What are you doing on social media? Are you watching reels? Are you watching jokers? Are you watching everything else? You can also watch the word of God and you can also read the word of God on social media. Yes. Amen. amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. That having been said, mm. um, there's a testimony you have, a, there's a lesson you have. I can't wait to get to it, but let me mm -hmm. just give a quick intro yes. and then you get to your oh. awesome, awesome teaching. <laughs> amen. Ladies, you want to hear this. Amen. And again, just before we jump in, yeah. <laughs> today is the 28th of May. 28th of May. So, guess what's happening? Mm. Today, we are going to honor three people mm. who have shown consistency and oh, interest yes. and participation. <laughs> and the, the, the statistics are there. The st okay. there, there are those who have been reading and they've been posting. We tell guys, post. Yes. You know, read and post something. Um, yeah, so, is that the day. top three people <laughs> yes. are going to get uh, a little bit of a surprise yes. just to acknowledge and to say, you are doing a great job. Awesome. Amen. Awesome. We thank awesome. God for the three of you. Yes. And uh, the Lord will greatly mm -hmm. reward your experience. Yes. The rest of us, mm -hmm. let us read the Bible. Yes. There is more than, there's so much more. There mm -hmm. is so much more to discover. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, yes. chapter six. Yes. David brings the ark to Jerusalem. Mm -hmm. Chapter six. David. Mm -hmm brings the ark to, to Jerusalem. Jerusalem. Now, flashback to mm. 1 Samuel chapter 4, mm. where the ark mm. fell into the hands of the Philistines mm. because of the um, <clears throat> the judgment that fell upon Eli and mm. his sons Hophni and Phinehas. Mm. 
Mm. If you can go back to First Samuel chapter four, you will get the picture. You will be reminded of what happened. Yes. That judgment fell on the house of of, of Eli, mm. and uh, his sons went into battle. Mm. Uh, the battle in Aphek that was very, 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 very fierce. Yes. And the Philistines thought that. Um, uh, these guys are going to, they, they, they mustered all the courage mm. and they fought valiantly and mm. they, they beat Israel. Mm. So the people, notice the Bible says, the people said, mm. where is the ark of God? Yeah. And they said, let's fetch the ark of God from mm. Shiloh and mm. bring it before us so we can beat the Philistines. Mm. And they did exactly that. Mm. And there was a thunderous applause when the ark arrived in mm. the camp of Israel. Mm. And the Philistines said, Mm. Their God has come. has come, so we are in trouble. Yes. So fight with all your might. Imagine. And boy, did they fight! Mm. In that fight, they 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 they, they killed Phinehas and um, and Hophni, mm. the sons of of Eli, mm. and many many hosts of Israel, mm. and they fled. Mm. And they captured the ark. How mm. embarrassing! How terrible! They captured the ark and they mm. took it to their possession. Mm. When the news got home to Eli that mm. uh, Israel was defeated, yeah. his sons are dead. Mm. When he heard the ark was captured, mm. he fell backwards on his seat. He broke mm. his neck mm. and he died. Mm. And then Phinehas's wife was expecting. Mm. When she heard the news of uh, from the war front, mm. she went into labor mm. and she gave birth. But mm. the, the the pain and the, the mess of it all. She developed a complication and she died. Mm. And she mentioned the name of the child. She called the child Ichabod, meaning mm. the, glory the glory has, has departed. departed. Mm. So now here's the mm. ark mm. being taken to the house of Dagon, the mm. god of the Philistines. Mm. You know what happened? Mm. Yes. <laughs> and then later, when they tried to move it, it was causing affliction. Not mm. it, but rather the Lord mm. was causing affliction. The Bible says the hand of the Lord was heavy. Mm. God dealt them a heavy blow. So mm. people died in Ashdod. People mm. died in Gath. People died in Ek. Mm. They were all afflicted with boils, very painful boils. Mm. And so they asked their wise mm. people. Mm. They consulted the wise people what to do. Yes. And the, some of the wise people they consulted mm. were actually diviners mm. who told them what to do. Mm. And they put the cart on, on a, or they put the ark on a cart mm. and they tied two cows to it, yes. milking cows. Mm. Then they kept the calves away and then mm. released the cows. And the cows went in the mm. opposite direction mm. and they went into the direction of Beth Shemesh, that mm. is Israel. Mm. And the people of Beth Shemesh took the ark but they looked inside and uh, 50,000 so many people I, I yeah. remember asking you yeah. how did they they look and they're dying they look yeah. and they're dying and yeah. then I think you said it's over over time over time so people would come and look yes. forgetting that some other people they develop a condition and they 50,000 is such a huge number yes yeah. 50,000 people died mm. for uh, for peeping into the ark mm. and so what happened was that um, mm. in a place called Mm. Kirjat Jearim, mm. there was a, some, somebody called Abinadab mm. who was given the responsibility to look mm. after the ark, mm. and that is in chapter 7 of mm. 1 Samuel. Mm. Now, <laughs> it took 20 years. Mm. The ark was in his possession for mm. 20 years, yes. and the people were lamenting after mm. God. Mm. And then Samuel comes up and tells them, you, mm. if you really want to serve God, you have to put away your idols. Yes. And then uh, they went into sacrifice, and Samuel prayed for them, and then shortly after that, they asked mm. for a king. Mm. So what am I saying? Mm. This flashback mm. is telling us that the ark was not in the possession rather mm. was not in the care of israel proper mm. for a very very long time mm. for a very very long time if you're watching this and you've never opened your bible this is for you <laughs> that yeah. the things of god are there but mm. they're not part of your life you're not mm. involved for a very long time you are missing big time if you're watching and i'm repeating you're watching and the bible you have a Bible in your house, mm. you never open it. You have mm. three on your phone, you never open them. This mm. is the time for you to realize mm. that it is very it's very possible to be near, near God, God, but very far at the mm. same time. Wow. So Israel was missing big time. Listen, mm. Saul became king, mm. lived through all his reign, blundering. Mm. There was no central uh there was no central place, place for the worship. priesthood. Mm. Samuel was mm. in Rama, mm. the priests were scattered all over the towns, mm. but there was nothing happening around the king per se. Mm. The ark was in the custody of somebody, mm. and there was no proper tabernacle like they had in Shiloh. Mm. Guess what happened? Mm -hmm. The Lord had arranged for mm. that to happen from Shiloh, mm. but they disarranged it by mm. saying, Let us fetch the ark. Okay. Not let's consult God. Let's yes. us fetch oh, the act. Okay. It is one thing to have your mm. Bible under the pillow at night to chase away evil spirits. Mm. And it's another thing altogether to read the read Bible it. and to mm. understand and believe and to mm. act upon it. Mm. Mm. It's a big difference. Mm. There are people who keep the Bible under the pillow saying that mm. they sleep better because it chases mm. away evil spirits. Mm. Now, open that Bible and read it. Don't and just have it. it near you yes. and it is not helping you. Mm. So the 
the whole life of King Saul, mm. there was no ark, there was no centralized priesthood yes. and ministry going on. Mm. No wonder his life was so chaotic. Mm. Mm -hmm. Because this is the king they had wanted. Mm. And his life became very chaotic. Mm. Uh, chaotic. chaotic yeah. Samuel, um, Samuel led on. Mm. And at one point you see David running to Samuel. Mm. And Samuel has got a company of prophets and they're prophesying. Mm. All right? And mm. David runs to Samuel. Mm -hmm. Now Saul never went to Samuel. Mm. Saul never went to Samuel. He just operated by himself. And what happens is that Saul dies and David becomes king. Mm. And then David takes over the nation. Mm. David takes over Jerusalem. Now mm. we come to chapter 6 where we mm. are. David is bringing the ark to Jerusalem. Mm. David is seeing the nation scattered mm. and he's trying to centralize mm. the, the country. He's trying to mm. gather the country rather. Mm. And then he wants to centralize the worship mm. and to have an altar like they had in Shiloh mm. when they crossed over the Jordan to enter Israel. Mm. Okay, that's quite a long introduction. Mm. But then we see David becomes king. The ark mm. was not centrally placed during Saul's chaotic reign mm. and the priesthood was not properly ordained. Mm. Now, so when they go over to Kijat Yarim to get mm. the ark, mm. they did something that shows they were not aware of mm. certain principles God had put mm. in place. The, the ark was placed on a cart, mm. the same way the Philistines had put the ark on the on cart. cart. Mm. And as they were going, mm. the, the Bible says that the, cow, um, the cattle stumbled, mm -hmm. not, the not the ark. And Uzzah, who was in charge, mm of uh, Uzzah and his brother mm. and their father. They were in charge of the ark all this time. Mm. He stretched out his hand to steady it. Mm. And as he stretched out his hand, the Lord struck him dead at mm. once. Mm. And so they turned from the journey. Mm. They turned right next to that mm. pathway mm. was the house of Obed-Edom. Mm. And so Obed-Edom took over mm. the custody of the ark mm. for three months mm. and he was blessed. So mm. David hears Obed is blessed and says, okay, so mm. God is not angry with us. Mm. Mm. Let's go get the ark and continue and mm. bring it into mm. Jerusalem, mm. where he had prepared a tabernacle. Mm. So if you read from uh, First, Corinth, First Chronicles, sorry, mm. chapter 14 and chapter 16, mm. you realize that now David consulted the priests. He gathered yes. all the people and the yes. priests, mm. and he consulted. Mm. And then he must have learned from there mm. that the ark was supposed to be carried by the sons of Kohath. Mm. Yes, and to be handled yes. by Levites. Yes. Mm. And if it's a tabernacle, they were to pack it, mm. then they give them to mm. the sons of Korah to yes, carry it. Yes. Not just God, anybody. God had given specifics yes. almost about everything. Yes. Saul blundered because he did not have the word by his side to keep consulting. Yes. Like God had said. The king must that have a copy king must have of the a law. Copy. Yeah. The king must have a copy of mm. the law by him. Mm. But Saul didn't do that. Mm. Because had he done that, he would have seen mm. many, many wonderful things. Mm. Okay, so mm. the ark comes to Jerusalem mm. and something very interesting happens. Now, this mm. is where you go. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yes. yes, I picked this and uh, uh, it's not necessarily uh, about what is happening at yes. the time, but a lesson that we can pick out of Michael's behavior, yes. that was David's uh, wife. Yes. Now, uh, the way she behaved when she saw him coming and he was in dance, I keep wondering, she saw him through the window and the procession was going on. Yes. She saw him through the window. My first question, as the wife, is she sub where, where was she? Yes. <laughs> where was she? I just feel like she did not recognize her position. Mm -hmm. I'm not saying she should have been there, you know, uh, dancing with him. Mm -hmm. She could have probably been somewhere else, but in the same uh, organizing something about the same thing that was going on. Mm -hmm. Not being upstairs and seeing him through the window and saying, what is wrong with this husband of mine? Mm -hmm. Look at the way he's dancing until his clothes are falling off in front of the servants, the mm -hmm. maid servants. Mm -hmm. You know, she despised him in the heart. Wow. And I said, wives were not created to despise their husbands. Mm -hmm. First of all, every wife, you must see your husband as the priest of the home. That is number one. When you see it like that, you will not despise. Instead, you will be humbled to pray for them all the time. Because it is through them you will get to hear what the Lord is saying. It is through them you will get to have direction of the home. And if the husband is not standing in the priestly place, it is still your job to pray that, his, that the Lord puts him in that pose, in that, in that opens his eyes to realize and to see what he is supposed to be doing. Mm -hmm. So we are not supposed to despise our husbands as wives. A wife has a high position in the home setting, but she takes the position of the serv servanthood. We see Michael talking to David and, and it's, you can hear in her she's despising the servants because she's saying, how can he dance until his clothes fall off in front of, like who are they now? 
to to see what they are they are seeing you see so she's she's giving herself that position it's it doesn't come like that a wife has got a high position but the higher it is is determined by how low she is she, how low she goes to serve the people a uh, a wife has got a lot of influence to do a lot of things in the house but if her job is to make people know that i'm the woman around here i'm the queen around here then she's taking the wrong direction god recognizes servanthood he doesn't recognize recognize the bossy kind of living yes. it says even when you're invited in a meeting don't take yourself to the high place mm -hmm. what if you go and sit there then you are told later in the middle of the meeting excuse me you're occupying the seat that is supposed to be for so and so <laughs> embarrassing moments <laughs> embarrassing moments yes. go, we are encouraged to be to take the position of servanthood christ has taken the position of servanthood in yes. our lives what do you understand when we are told he is interceding for us mm -hmm. first he comes and takes our sins he carries them it's not his job but he takes them he carries them he dies because of them yes. you know so that is that is the position of servanthood and that's the one that pleases god likewise wives should take that position don't take don't carry yourself too high up and address the rest as if they are not you know anybody mm -hmm. and a husband may fail to tell the wife about something important that they are doing or engaged in you know but even if he doesn't mention a wise wife will pick it up the ark of the covenant had been missing for many years it had been away for many years and this is something that has never happened in the history of israel mm -hmm. it was a first time thing and david was involved i believe a lot yes. in the organization preparation yes. of it coming the everything that was going on people were going to dance people were going to feast he was blessing people with stuff which i know was already prepared because he was giving people even baked bread mm -hmm. those things all those things they did not give michael an idea what was happening even if david did not mention to to her she should have picked it up so for her to not to fail to see the importance of that moment is just sad for a wife it is very very sad it should have caught her attention and she should have been praying she should have been praying about the success of this what the husband is doing because a wife takes up what the husband is doing and prays guards it in prayer and makes sure nothing is going to go wrong because she he is the priest and she is there to support him yeah and so her her her, her actions and uh the way she sees things should should make her pray the right way not the other way she shouldn't have despised all these things we see michael despising and guess what she struck by barrenness barrenness you know she struck by barrenness imagine how many generations got closed the ones that was were going to come through michael they just got closed and they stayed on the other side they never manifested into the physical because of an action she did which was so unnecessary Absolutely. which was so unnecessary she should not have done that and this man had expressed her love his love for her mm -hmm. by sending for her even after you know after Saul had given her over to somebody else mm -hmm. and now that he became king he said wait a minute that was my wife i'm back. going to take her she should have seen that act mm -hmm. but she came but then you see when a wife does not recognize or mm -hmm. see things the way she should see and that's why we need the guidance of the holy spirit as as women mm -hmm. now a wife must know how to talk and when to talk to her husband some of these things sound very simple but they actually cause a whole marriage and a home to stand the way it is supposed to stand and i will insist on she must know how to talk and when to talk to her own husband yes. because every wife has got their own husband don't be crossing the border to talk to <laughs> 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 i know it doesn't sound very polite but let me tell you <clears throat> if we don't watch out for these things yes it is just brings problem because i cannot be in somebody else's house and i'm talking to the husband like i'm the one who is like i'm the wife in that particular home and i'm talking assuming that position or let's take it the other way around that is usually very obvious that goes without people not realizing it wives they give so much attention to a pastor their pastor so that whatever is going on in that home is a plan between the wife and the pastor 
and then the the husband is just supposed to you to know follow. to follow along <laughs> like this is what the pastor said this is what is happening mm -hmm. by the way we are doing a 21 first day according to the pastor we are not eating for the next 21 days you know these things <laughs> <laughs> these things I happen. am telling you these things. These things, these these things, things happen. happen when you tie, when you give the position your husband should be having, you mm. give it to the pastor. Mm. And some people say, ah, the pastor cannot be having that position. The pastor is in church, and me, I'm the. In fact, I'm the good one because I go to church. I come back. I go. You can go to church and come back mm -hmm. a, thousand, a thousand times yes. if you will. Mm -hmm. But if the word your husband is speaking in the house, a simple word as, before you go to that church, make sure there's food in the house. Make sure the kids are taken care of. Make sure this and this. Before you go to that church, before you run after what the husband is saying, before you go to preach in the estate, mm -hmm. because you have house to house, or oh, it's our day to go to Aboretum for prayers. Before all those things happen, make sure the house is, everything is arranged properly. But no. Today the pastor said we are going. So deal with the house. The children are not fed. The house is not cooked. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you can add something about about Mrs. what I'm saying here. Housekeeping for the church. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Things have to be put into their proper perspective. Mm -hmm. um, the, the way uh, Michael spoke to David mm -hmm. is telling. Mm -hmm. and we are drawing lessons from that for those who have just checked in. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, we were discussing in the earlier meeting mm -hmm. that um, the wife ought to give the husband the due honor. Yes. Um, this lady didn't realize she was talking to her husband, mm. and in this case, to the king of Israel. Mm. You know, mm -hmm. uh, sometimes. Uh, uh, and, and let me just flip over a bit to take you back to the discussion we had. Uh, yes. Pastor James Timbiti, God bless you if you're watching. Oh, yes. He posted something very powerful about mm. honoring servants of God. Mm. And then uh, one of the sisters mm -hmm. uh, who was reacting to, I, I can't have, I can't fish it out right now, but mm. she said, having realized the mm. call on the pastor and uh, the demand it places on the pastor's wives, mm. she has decided to pray for her pastor like never before mm. and also to pray for pastor's wife because yes. the pastor's wife does not need to be called. She's mm. already called. She's, yeah. She's already called By to be the... the fact that the husband is called in exactly. this... For yes. the fact that uh, you as a wife, if you're watching, you are an assistant, you are a helpmate to your husband, mm. that means whatever God has called him to do, you plug into that 100%. Mm. And so it places a double demand on her, mm -hmm. just like it places a double demand on the man, mm -hmm. because he still has to be the head of the house, mm. he still has to make provision, mm. he has to show leadership, mm -hmm. he has to do all these things, plus yes. he has to respond to the call of God, to be yes. a child of God mm. before he's a man of God. Mm. You must be a child of God first, mm. then you become a man of God. Mm. And now now she is dealing with him in all those facets. Yes. Now for Michael, she's dealing with her husband mm -hmm. who is dealing with the entire nation mm -hmm. which is coming out of a crisis. Mm -hmm. Which means all the crisis of Israel is mm -hmm. on her pillow. Mm -hmm. She ought to be a praying she woman. Ought she ought to be in woman. touch with the Holy Ghost. And if mm -hmm. you're out there and you're like Michael, the Lord bless you and help you. Get in touch with the Holy Ghost and pray that situation. Mm -hmm. You know, this lady, she muttered things under her breath. Mm -hmm. She said things within her mm. before she said them out towards mm. her. Mm. And guess what? God heard her before she spoke out. Mighty. So sometimes we mutter things mm. before we say them. Mm. And those things that we speak internally, mm. they have a very de deleterious effect yeah. Yeah. in the spiritual journey. Mm. And so uh, I want to also encourage us, mm. let us pray for, uh, pray for your pastor, mm. pray for his wife, mm. because she is having a special challenge mm. in now dealing with her family, mm. plus the responsibility of him being in, in ministry, mm. that also attaches a lot of responsibility upon her. Mm. Did I say? So yes, yes you said yes, it. Okay. You said mm. it. So mm. David was disappointed by yeah. <clears throat> how she said the manner in which Michael uh, was talking to him. Yes. But for what the position that he's he was holding, yes. a kingly priest, mm -hmm. his disappointed disappointment obviously got to God, and I think that brought uh, the, 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 the 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 curse of barrenness. Mm. So wives be led by the spirit yes. not by what we see what we mm. observe if we keep insisting on seeing things with our physical eyes mm -hmm. and making decisions that is going to lead us in the wrong place we are supposed to be always led of the spirit of god and that will cause us to be humble and being humble is mm -hmm. good because it's recognizing continually that we have no strength other than relying on the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. As much as we have been given influence, power, and all those things, yes. we must rely on the Holy Spirit. So wives, you have uh, power 
use it wisely. Mm -hmm. Use it wise, wisely. If I mentioned the power of influence, yes. a wife can influence people to rally behind the husband, the, the, behind a cause. Mm -hmm. Let me say behind a cause. At the same time, she can use the same power to scatter. So we have to use our power wisely. Mm -hmm. A wife must have a speech that is calculated and her actions be counted as faithful. Mm -hmm. She should be committed, devoted, and submissive. She is a role model. The young women should look up to her and want to be like her because she is a role model. Being a wife is very, very important. Let me, let me say it that way. Take that value that has been placed in that office and use it wisely because it's very powerful. Mm -hmm. It's very powerful. Exactly. You can, the Bible says we can build the house and we can also destroy it. Wow. Having the power to destroy, the same power you have to build. to build. You have the same power to destroy. That's being very powerful. Yeah. You know, this is very interesting. Again, um, just a quick note mm. uh, to men of God. You know, we, we had a man of God in uh, in the studio in the morning. Mm -hmm. uh, the blessed oh, yes. man of God. Amen. <laughs> and um, Amen. There, there's something he needed to talk to you about. And mm. uh, he asked he asked me for your number. Exactly. And also for my number. Yes. And he made it very clear. He yes. wants to speak to us both. Both. Yeah. Given then, that we we met first yeah, at, met, at the yeah. place of work. Yes. Yeah. Yes. But when it came to asking for numbers, he, he asked, asked me, you. Yes. That is very yeah. wise. There, there are some protocols that we need to follow. Mm. That uh, when you're ministering to people, and I'm sure all the pastors watching this, <laughs> all the male pastors here, I'm sure you'll agree with me, mm. that when you're ministering to the body of Christ, mm. IBFN, you're 60% are ladies, by the way. Yeah. 60, actually more than 60%. Mm. So many times I'll be talking to ladies. Mm -hmm. Now, it's important when you're talking to a married woman, uh, depending on what you're talking about, it is important to involve the man, exactly. involve her husband. Yes. If she starts telling you stuff that, uh, that require his attention, mm. you stop and ask her, have you told your husband these things? Yes. Then the two of them, they ca you can make a group, uh, a group chat, mm. and so you jointly chat the pastor. Mm. So that when the pastor is speaking and the wife is responding, yes. the husband is well aware he's of well the, aware. what they're discussing. Yeah. He's not out of the picture. He's the priest of he's that home. He's the priest of that home. Yes. So when the pastor would give an instruction and say, mm. for this particular family, the two mm. of you, mm. uh, you need to follow this course of action. Mm. Actually, he's addressing the man. Mm. But he does not talk to the woman separately. Separately. in some private counseling mm -hmm. then she comes home and says the pastor said, said. Mm -hmm. that will create more problems i'm sure we know these things yes. but let's be reminded yeah. that you don't want to create a rift or mm -hmm. a, a, a gap between a man and his wife because mm -hmm. the bible says only death can do that only yes. death can separate mm -hmm. nobody can put asunder mm -hmm. and so you want to talk to the two of them mm -hmm. if the lady comes online with mm -hmm. the issues mm -hmm. you want to engage the husband and also mm -hmm. become a friend to the husband and the uh, and mm. get the conversation going mm. that way so mm. that when you give an instruction or you yes. give suggestion mm. they have it together mm. so the man doesn't feel mm. men are very insecure when it comes to communications through the wives mm. they feel they're being manipulated mm. or i don't know what you guys think if you're there let me know but mm. they feel like they're being um, they're looked at as being the lesser or mm. the insignificant fellow mm. in the marriage and mm. you know it creates more problems I, I think it's i, I think it, it, it i know it's called insecurity a lot mm -hmm. but it's not really every man that is his right that's his kingdom if somebody else comes in and begins to talk issues to the wife mm -hmm. and not to him okay that person coming in is the one who has a problem wow we all are supposed to recognize we need to do a marriage uh, conference <laughs> <laughs> yes we need Let's to talk go to, back to israel yes, we need to talk to couples so couples yes. who are watching yes. we have you in in our minds we will get to that yes so back to israel yeah so michael has done has david has brought in the ark okay mm -hmm. so we're done with michael yes i am yeah okay mm -hmm. great mm -hmm. so david has brought in the ark eventually mm -hmm. uh and there's a lot of dancing and feasting and everything mm -hmm. and then uh in chapter 7, mm -hmm. we, 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 we want to pick another principle from chapter 7 as we continue. Mm -hmm. David wants to build a mm -hmm. tabernacle. Mm -hmm. David wants to build a tabernacle for the Lord. Mm -hmm. And uh, he is sitting talking to prophet Nathan. Now, mm -hmm. remember, mm -hmm. Samuel has died by mm -hmm. now. Mm -hmm. And uh, if you look at the end of uh, Chronicles, First Chronicles mm -hmm. chapter 29, verse 29, mm -hmm. it talks of the works, the book of Nathan mm -hmm. and the book of God. Yes. That is to say, God as in G-A-D, God. God. Okay? Mm -hmm. That is to say that this were very likely they were the student prophets mm. or rather they were the people um, prophet samuel was mentoring mm -hmm. you see them prophesying mm. in a company of prophets when mm. david runs mm. when saul was acting up mm. so it is possible that samuel was training mentoring prophets mm -hmm. and uh, now when he passes on mm. the uh, 
the uh, the priests mm. continue to do the work mm. and what he had written in first samuel mm -hmm. somebody else completes the writing mm. so we are in second samuel mm. but he's dead so who was writing so it is nathan yeah. and god who are writing mm. so this nathan, nathan being a student of mm. samuel carried forward his ministry yes. and presented his writings like the writings of samuel mm -hmm. If you want to know more about mm -hmm. the kings and all mm -hmm. that, you have to look in the book of Kings. Mm -hmm. yeah, kings. And while you're doing that, that's yeah. how we're reading Samuel and, and the Chronicles. Chronicles. Because somebody was recording what was happening. Mm -hmm. Chronicles were just like the newspaper, mm -hmm. the daily occurrences yes, of what yes, happened and this yes. happened mm -hmm. and that happened. So some factors, some facts might not appear in Samuel, mm -hmm. but they will be caught by the Chronicles. the Chronicles. And some facts might not appear in Samuel, they will be caught in the lineup of what happened in the mm -hmm. lives of the kings. Mm -hmm. So well, this is a very interesting time of Bible study. Yes. You'll get to understand how the books are also mm -hmm. related. And so here, David is sharing his heart out to his prophet. Mm -hmm. And he says he's living in a house mm -hmm. built of cedar. Now, cedar is expensive wood. Mm -hmm. You go to the hardware and ask for cedar posts, and they will mm -hmm. tell you what they will tell you. Cedar is expensive wood. It's good. It's hard and high-quality wood. And so he wants his, his, his thought is, hey, I'm living in a mansion, but the ark of the Lord is in a tabernacle, a tent. And he thinks he should build a similar tabernacle to house the, uh, the ark of the Lord. Mm. So he's expressing a good intention mm. and um, the prophet says do what is in your heart. But that night, God comes to the prophet and gives him a word, of, gives, gives him a word that mm. it is not so. David yes. is not going to build my tabernacle. Mm. God has already planned it. Mm. God does not need a tabernacle. You cannot mm. create, listen, you cannot create a house for God to live in. Mm. Even when he says in Haggai, go and fetch timber mm. and build my house. Wow. He's not desperate for a shelter. No, mm. he's the almighty God. Mm. All these, all these belong to him. Mm. Mm. He has already made a plan on mm. who is going to build the tabernacle. Mm. And for David, mm. he is going to build for David a sure house. That is mm. to say, he is going to build for David a mm. dynasty. Mm. That is, David and his sons forever mm. will be on the throne. Yes. He had already planned that for David. So mm. David cannot really build the Lord a house. Mm. And then David gets up overwhelmed. He goes to pray and is saying wonderful things over there. Mm. And I wanted to mention that there is safety mm. in having a priest who hears from the Lord. Amen, definitely. If your priest, mm. pray for your priest to hear mm. from the Lord. Yes. Let me say it positively. Mm. Pray for your priest to, to hear from, from the, the Lord. Lord. Pray for your bishop, pray for your apostle, mm. your prophet, whoever is over you spiritually. Yes. Pray for them mm. that they hear mm. from the Lord. Because here is Nathan, a student mm. of Samuel, missing it. Mm. Telling the king, hey, do what's in your heart. Follow mm. your heart. Mm. How many times do you hear, follow your heart? Mm. Your heart cannot be wrong. Follow mm. your heart. In as much as the Holy Ghost speaks into your heart, mm -hmm. it does not mean you follow what your heart has thought up. There are other things in your heart that should not even be printed. <laughs> but here he's saying, follow your heart. Do what mm. is in your heart. Mm. And then uh, the Lord tells him, no, 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 no. It, there's a different plan altogether. Mm. And so the priests, the pastors that are over us, they mm. are a gift from God mm. because God has given them to us yes. to, uh, uh, to, to, because they are according to his heart. Mm. Okay, I'm yes. saying this verse in, in, in reverse. Yes. The pastor that God has given you, mm. if he is a pastor after God's heart, mm -hmm. the Lord intends that through him mm -hmm. you may be fed knowledge and understanding. Mm. Mm. So it is a gift, it's a good thing to have a pastor mm. to talk to. And it's mm. a greater thing if that pastor mm. hears from God. Let me mm. give you the lesson in this chapter 7 as we move on. Mm. Good is not enough. Mm -hmm. It must originate from God. Mm -hmm. Many of us do good things. But they're not mm. God things. Mm -hmm. God has to be the one who has spoken. Mm. Many of us go into ministry and God has not spoken. Are they doing a good thing? Yes. yes. They're preaching. Are guys encouraged? <laughs> yes. Will those guys go to heaven? Yes. But is it good to do that if God has not told you? No. no. <laughs> because they want to be the grace the to grace endure. Actually, yes. Being called into ministry is not a one-day affair where you stand yeah. up and say, I'm today I'm pastor so-and-so, tomorrow I'm comedian so-and-so. No. If you're called mm. to pastor, you remain a pastor yeah. for life. Mm. You don't start changing. And uh, may I just mention briefly, mm -hmm. I don't know how the viewers will take this. This is the kingdom of God. Yes. There's another kingdom, mm -hmm. a government, a government. Serikali, yes. of men. Serikali. You don't leave this <laughs> anointed position mm -hmm. to go and ask for votes. Wow. 
Let me leave it there. Let me leave it there. You stay <laughs> as a pastor and you do your work. Mm. But we thank the Lord for even for those who have done that. Mm. May the Lord be the Lord is gracious and mm. is merciful. Sometimes we do things outside of what he has said mm. and grace somehow finds us. Yes. Grace finds us where we have gone. Mm. But in the ideal sense, if you're a pastor, you're a pastor. Mm. You don't go to a political office. You don't move to a political office. Mm. You stay. Because mm. you are called by God. You can't be mm. called by God and elected by men. Wow. Wow. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. <laughs> the Lord is good. Let's go to chapter eight. Reactions. Reactions. Up. Pastor, Pastor, <laughs> Pastor Henry and his wife Winnie are watching from Mombasa. God bless you. <laughs> God bless I love this couple. They're they awesome guys. <laughs> All right. And Pastor Dan also is online. Mm -hmm. Amen. God bless mm -hmm. you. Mm -hmm. And Rosemary Kibuchi, Dancy Tati. Margaret Kirera. Kirera. Thank you yes. for joining today. <laughs> Hallelujah. And Pastor Rosina and, uh, Makideu. Rosina. Yes. God bless you, Rosina, Thank for being you. here. Yeah. Uh, Maureen Kasoya, mm -hmm. uh, Minister, Man of God, Vincent mm -hmm. Wanga. Mm -hmm. Reverend, God bless you for being here. Yes. Amen. Yeah. So there you have it. David mm -hmm. wants to build a tabernacle, but mm -hmm. no, God has different plans. Mm -hmm. The prophet is corrected. He mm -hmm. comes back and he sets everything in mm -hmm. order. Mm -hmm. The prophet is not in error as such. Yes. It's just that he had, he thought differently, yes. but then God helped. God mm -hmm. came and said, no, 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 that's mm -hmm. not what I wanted. Samuel also missed it. When yeah, Samuel went yeah. to anoint David, mm -hmm. Samuel was heavily anointed. Mm. He was consecrated before he was even born. Imagine. But he was a human being. Yes. Anything that is called a human being yes. is capable of, of error. error. So go easy on the man of God. Yeah. Go easy. Yeah. Go easy. Don't yeah. tear him into pieces when he makes a mistake. That's go where easy. Pastor Timbiti's post That's where the really past, comes yes. out strong. Yes. Yeah. Hallelujah. Because he says, man of God, when when the congregation is in error, yes. they hold the congregation and pray with those particular and help individuals. Them, yes. But when it is the man of God in error, mm -mm. the congregation quickly chews them up. Completely. Yeah. Tell them, oh, that's no, one is no one is perfect. No one is perfect. Yeah. Let's uphold men of God. Let's uphold each other in prayer mm. and in high esteem because mm. error can happen to anyone. But yes. God restores. Mm. Hallelujah. Amen. God restores. Amen. Amen. Okay, so mm. um, chapter 8, mm -hmm. David shows kindness to Mephibosheth. Mm -hmm. You know, last time you were telling me it's Mephibosheth, but I wasn't <laughs> getting the sign <laughs> until uh, Baraka, Zoe Baraka, God bless Baraka you. Baraka came all Baraka the way. Baraka drove all the way in the middle of the broadcast. <laughs> <laughs> it is so Mephibosheth, hilarious. not Mephibosheth. <laughs> yes. It's a tongue twister for me. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> Mephibosheth was the son of Jonathan. Yes. And uh, mm -hmm. now as David is sitting on his throne, yeah. he remembers that uh, he has a covenant mm -hmm. with Jonathan. Yes. Jonathan died in the battle with Saul. Yes. Mm -hmm. And a lot can be said about Jonathan. Mm -hmm. But for now, mm -hmm. David had a covenant with Jonathan. With Jonathan. I, I want to say that these two men, Mm. There is something they, they, they if you're a man and they're watching this, let's just agree. Mm. Men are very uh, guarded. Mm. Men don't open up the way ladies do. Yeah, yeah. Men are very guarded. Men mm. play their cards to the chest mm. because a man is a protector mm -hmm. and a man is a territorial being. Mm -hmm. A man is very protective of his house, mm -hmm. of his business. Mm -hmm. He's very protective of his woman. Mm -hmm. He's very protective of his ministry. Mm -hmm. He's a protector. Yeah. That is his natural instinct. Mm -hmm. So when you show up into a man's life, the first thing, what does he want? Mm -hmm. Could this be what I think? He's mm -hmm. already thinking security issues. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. so he won't just go out opening and telling you everything about himself. Yes. He'll be very careful. Mm -hmm. And so it takes time for a man to bond mm -hmm. with another guy. Mm -hmm. And they begin to open up and talk. You, you have to have a long, really? long time of, you yes. know. And he's looking mm -hmm. at that relationship thinking, mm -hmm. what's, what's this relationship leading to? Yeah. What value does mm -hmm. it have for me? Mm -hmm. You know? Mm -hmm. So that is a man. But mm -hmm. here's a case where Jonathan saw David... Mm -hmm defeat Goliath mm -hmm. and Jonathan saw his father Saul yeah. honor David, David yes. and, uh, and he says you're not going back home mm. now you come to the palace mm. Mm. remember that when yes. David finished up with Goliath mm. he didn't go back home mm. he was immediately conscripted into, into the army the, yeah. and he went home with the king yes and he became like the king's son. Mm. Immediately, mm. Jonathan saw him and Jonathan saw something in mm. him so, and the Bible says he loved him yeah yeah. He bonded with him immediately mm. and they became very, very, very good friends. Mm. Then they became covenanted friends. Now, mm. this is where I wanted to mention mm. the word covenant. Mm. An agreement mm. for mutual, mm. uh, a beneficial relationship. Mm. 
for a purpose. Mm. You see, God does not do things without covenant. That's true. When God began to talk to Abraham, he told him, I'm going to bless you. Mm. I'll take you to this land. Mm. Oh, I'm going to do many things. And mm. like, yeah, you told me so. Mm. So the guy begins to move. Mm. And he moves and he goes from, uh, he leaves his father, Terran, yes. where they were in Terran. And they moved. Yeah. And they came to Canaan. Mm. And then as they continued, mm. the Lord, uh, in chapter 15 of Genesis. Yes. Now, this is a quick flashback. Mm. The call of Abraham is in chapter 12. Mm. But the covenant comes later. Yes. Because God cannot continue working with Abraham mm. on a casual basis. God mm. is serious. Mm. So God makes a covenant. Yes. Because Abraham is crying, mm. everything is going to be inherited by this guy from Damascus. He's mm. going to be, my shepherd boy will be my inheritance. Mm. And God says, not so. The seed from your womb will be inheritance. Mm. So he tells him to bring the animals and you know, mm. cut them into two. And then mm. in the evening when he falls asleep, mm. a smoking pot goes across. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so God makes a covenant. Mm so that Abraham knows yes. that God is bonded mm. to do what he, said what he said he would do. Mm -hmm. And as a man of God prayed in the morning, mm -hmm. yes. that God, God cannot leave you yes. because he's bonded. Just imagine yes. the God mm. of the universe mm. is in covenant with you in mm. Christ. And he said a special thing about God. Yes. You cannot separate him from his word. Hallelujah. So if his word says this, yes. God said it and they are they are like this. Yes. You cannot separate. You if he said he will do it, that is he will do it. Amen. So he'll never leave you. He'll never forsake you. As a child of God, that stands. Yes. God will do it. Mm. Our prayers of desperation and pain. Mm. God, yes. are you still there? God, do you mm. still love me? Mm. God understands that we are really pressed by the pain. Mm -hmm. God loves you, not mm. because of what you have done. Mm. God loves you because he's God. Yeah. Yeah. The kind of the love of a father. Mm. The child who has been born. Mm -hmm. What has the child done? Nothing. God just loves the child because that's his child. Yeah. yeah. And this is a love that it is hard to explain. Mm. It is hard to explain. Mm. But he is bonded to mm. you. He mm. will never leave you. He will never, never forsake, forsake you. Yeah. Now, likewise, mm -hmm. the friendships, what you call a friend. Mm. A friend is a very serious. To call someone a friend. Mm. Uh -uh, the Facebook is saying friends. Mm. <laughs> I think they should change it to contacts. I mean, but anyway, let me not go there. <laughs> A friend, <laughs> someone you yes. call your friend, yeah. is somebody very, very deep. Yes. Your life, true. your future, very true. and after you are dead and gone, your children mm. and your children's children, yes. the impact that friendship will have. Yeah. You know? Yeah. <laughs> mm. I bless the Lord for my best man. <laughs> <laughs> best man, you're the best man. <laughs> and if you have a best man, yes. oh my goodness, this mm. is a deep thing. Mm. Because look at this covenant. Mm. David remembers, let's, let's read, oh, our first reading. Let's, let's read mm. this from the Bible. Mm. Uh, Minister Jerry, thank you for, for this. Give mm. us First Samuel chapter 20, mm. verse 42. Mm. First Samuel chapter yes. 20, verse 42. Let's mm. see what this kind of covenant is. Mm -hmm. You know, hallelujah. Shall we read? And, and Jonathan, Jonathan said, said to David, David go in peace, peace for, for as much as, much we, as have we have sworn both, both of us in the name, name of the Lord, Lord saying, the Lord be between me and thee, and thee and between my seed and thy seed forever. And he arose and departed, and Jonathan went into the city. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, this is the post, if you can find it in chapter 8. Mm -hmm. uh, thank you, Jerry. Mm -hmm. This is a covenant, this mm -hmm. is a deal that involves God. Mm -hmm. Now, in an interesting way, mm -hmm. it also speaks mm -hmm. to the marriage covenant, mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. that's another covenant where we involve God. God. This is a friendship covenant. Yes. Now, the marriage covenant, mm -hmm. why do I keep slipping to marriage today? <laughs> Speak. Speak. <huh? laughs> the marriage covenant starts mm -hmm. with friendship that is this deep. Yeah. Then oh, now yes. it goes into the intimacies and the, and, the, and, the, and the beauty of marriage. Yes. Between a man and a woman. Mm -hmm. Now, this one is a friendship. Yes. Okay. Mm. But it tells you how deep a friendship goes. Mm. They are even saying, in the name of the Lord. Mm. Where is it? Between me and you, and between your seed, seed. and my. As it is right now, David has no children. Jonathan Imagine. has no children. Mm. The pact they are making, because they have named God, it is a friendship forever. Mm. And that is how our friendship should be. Mm. When you, you know, there's a colleague, somebody you work with, or somebody you went to school with, mm. once you turn your back and you go, that's some of it. them kind of evaporate and become mm. distant and they just drift away and they are gone. Mm. And we bless the Lord for the time we share together. Yes. But there are those who stick, like our best man mm. and his dear wife. Yes. We met in mm. college a long time ago mm. and we didn't do much. We just mm. met mm. over an issue of a chair mm. and that conversation <laughs> became a friendship and we had lunch and we talked and we went swimming mm. and we shared notes and before you know it, we're just bonding deeper and deeper. Mm. Until the time I was about to propose, I mean, 
you know <laughs> i just had i didn't have to look yeah i knew who my yeah. best man was but yeah. i asked him mm. that of all the guys i know mm. which were very few <laughs> you i see you as being close to me forever yeah. and he graciously agreed and you know the rest of the story yes okay <laughs> so this is a friendship that involves god yes. now the point I wanted to make before I digressed. Yeah. Then it means there is responsibility to God about your friend. Yeah. Oh, you yes. treat your friend the way God, you know God is watching. Yeah. Yeah. You don't backbite somebody you have mm-hmm. covenanted with. Mm-hmm. You don't plan evil for that mm-hmm. person. You don't wish them evil. You don't speak evil about these people. Yeah. You stay like, like mm-hmm. you know, God is watching how mm-hmm. you're going to handle this person. Mm-hmm. Because it's a covenant friendship. Mm-hmm. Now, God can trust you mm-hmm. with that covenant friendship because he knows mm-hmm. if he gives you a function to do together with this covenanted friend, mm-hmm. you will do it out of the fear of mm-hmm. God mm-hmm. and not out of expediency. Mm-hmm. That is yes. what am I going to gain from this friendship? Mm-hmm. How, much, mm-hmm. how much am I going to get from this thing? Mm-hmm. No. You're asking what will God get out of this, okay, friendship? this friendship? It's a God thing. Now, yeah. this also is deep because it is it's involving mm-hmm. generations. Mm-hmm. Which means there's going to be a new history created. Mm-hmm. Yeah. A new history. You know, because mm-hmm. of our bond, mm-hmm. Asembo, my homeland, and, mm-hmm. uh, and, uh, and Makueni mm-hmm. now are different. Yeah. Because mm-hmm. now Asembo has Kamba blood. Mm-hmm. And uh, uh, Makueni has Asembo connections. Yes. Right? <laughs> <laughs> history is being made. Actually, yes. And there are people true. who are now yeah. looking yeah. at those two homes differently yeah. because yeah. there's a marriage covenant yeah. over it. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And such is what you're talking about. The future generations. Mm-hmm. We are creating... Mm-hmm people who are not um, uh, biased yes. along those tribal lines mm. because they are from different mm. mix. They are half, half caste, yes. you know, <laughs> right? So the generations are affected mm. and history is being defined yes. because of this kind of friendship. Yes. You don't make friends to lose them. Mm. You don't make a friend because of something you want. Mm. You take time to know if your common objectives mm. and if you are, your destinies are in any way similar mm. and if we are complementary, yes. then you become friends. friends. Now, in that sea of friends, mm. if you're a girl, mm. somewhere in that kind of friendship, mm. there will be a, a, a boyfriend mm. who has got a common destiny. Mm. That's the one you wait for mm. and you, 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 the Lord blesses you and you, you move on. If you're a man, rather, mm. and it is the man who should propose, eh? Yes. It's a man who should propose. If mm. you're a lady and proposing, uh-uh, hold, hold your horses. Mm. It is a man now who should propose. Now there's a new teaching. No, no. They're saying women are powerful, they can also propose. They should not propose. Mm. It is the man to propose. Mm. All right? Mm. So if you're a man, you take care of that circle of friends. There are few. So you can have enough time to really assess mm. Assess. Don't get intimate. Mm. Just assess. Have a conversation. Pastor Jean mm. says that is why you go to date. Mm. A date is an appointment, a meeting. Mm. You go for coffee like on a table like this one yes. and you're talking. And you so how are you? Talk. What's your life? What's get happening? Know, then yeah. you get to know the person better. Mm. So you know this mm. one, mm. if I'm to get close to this one, I'm mm. going to be safe. Yeah. And not just for me, I'm also bringing my yeah. goodies to exactly. the table. Mm. So that I'm already secure, she's mm. secure, then together we have mm. a wonderful mix. Mm. Mm. We need to keep that for the marriage conference. Yes. But yes. then that is the covenant friendship I wanted to mention mm. that mm. Uh, these two had. Mm. Mm. It plays a very important uh, mm. message. Mm. We mentioned it in the broadcast. Mm. Uh, seeing Christ in the Old Testament. Yes. That therefore the kindness that David shows yes. in sending Ziba, mm. the servant of Saul, Saul. Mm. because he inquires, Mm. Is there anybody in the house that mm. I can show kindness to? Mm. Because he's remembering the, the, the covenant. Mm. My seed, your seed. Yes. But Jonathan is dead. So how are his mm. kids doing? Mm. Some even died. Mm. If you, as you continue reading, you see some died. Some were mm. killed. Mm. But there's one Mephibosheth mm. who, because of the pandemonium in the palace, mm. when Saul died mm. and the servants were scattering, his nurse mm. grabbed him and ran. But in the fleeing, she tripped up and the baby fell. We don't know if he twisted his back mm. or if he broke his feet, mm. but he became, he became lame. And somehow he ended up in a place called Lodiba, mm. which means nothing, under the care of somebody called Machir. Mm. And so David inquires, mm. and you know the king has intelligence and information becomes available, mm. and the guy is located, mm. and he says, fetch him. Mm. And he's brought, mm. and he's told, because of your father, we have a new deal with you, mm. sit. So forever, you'll be eating on my table. Mm. This guy was brought into the table of the mm, king imagine. and he was restored. Mm, <laughs> mm. All the property that King Saul had amassed mm. that were in the custody of the government, mm. they were given mm, back mm. to mm. this guy Mephibosheth. Mm. And I'm thinking, there's something that Adam lost mm-hmm. 
that Jesus brought and gave us. Amen. There is something that yes. Adam lost. It's called a world, all right? Yes. Mm. Adam lost his authority, authority. over mm. what God gave him. Mm. But Christ brought it back. Yes. Now, Christ has prepared a mm. table in the presence of our enemies mm. and we can feast. Now, mm. as, as Mephibosheth is feasting, mm. there are people who wanted him dead, mm. but they cannot touch him because now he's under the protection oh, and covenant you. with the king. Mm. The old covenant is still speaking because it said forever. Mm. Now, the covenant mm. you have received with Jesus Christ mm. is forever. Amen. And what, no, no matter what the devil tries to do, listen, mm. child of God, mm. no matter what, don't look at what the devil is doing. Mm. Look at what Christ has done. Mm. Mm. The devil can do whatever he thinks he can try to do. Mm. You are eating life with a big spoon on the table of God. <laughs> eating life with a big, with a big spoon. spoon. Enjoy the yes. bountifulness of the blessings mm. that Christ has brought to you. Amen. David Amen. sings and says, you prepare mm. a table before, before me, me in, in the, the presence, presence of, of my, my enemies. enemies. Mm. The way I read mm. it and the way I understood it for the mm. first time is like, mm. God has given you this abundant life. Yes. You're not going to get life everlasting when you die. You mm. are already living it. The mm. Zoe kind of life is in you. Mm. The spirit that is in you is the spirit mm. of Christ. Mm. You already have abundant life. Mm. And so much more comes with that. Mm. And no, no matter what the devil does, yes. it cannot be taken from you. It, it, is, yours it is yours from your father mm. by covenant mm. forever. Amen. Amen. Eat with a big spoon. Enjoy. <laughs> Enjoy the blessings of the Lord mm. that he has given you. Mm. Blessings are not just things, by the yeah. way. Yeah, yeah. The rest things. that mm. we talk about, because mm. David touches that and we touch, mm. touched a bit on the week. Mm. David talks about the ark of your covenant and enter into your rest. Now, yes. since when did God rest? Mm. Mm. Genesis, the Lord created, then he rested. Mm. Was he tired? Mm -mm. Some people think he worked so hard, so he was tired, he so he rested. Rest. So we should also rest. No. God does not get tired. He doesn't sleep, he doesn't slumber. That same, same ark of, uh, the ark of Noah mm. rested on Mount Ararat. Mm. Was he tired? No. Mm. It got to a position and it landed, it was established. established. So the rest that we are talking about here mm. when david is saying the ark of the mm. lord and the lord's presence to rest in the tabernacle mm. it is to be established amen forever amen. that that is its position mm. nobody ever again to pluck it and oh, to take it out amen. of there oh, so when god says you will enter into oh, rest oh, yes. you rested on the weekend you're still tired yes. you took leave for 30 days you went and tired. plowed the garden up country you're still tired yes. but the rest that god is talking about is it's, to enter into your position, position in christ and you are established awesome. in Christ. Awesome. Now, awesome. your burdens, your mm. problems, your mm. plagues, mm. let Christ deal with them. Yes. Amen. Amen. I, I kind of want to mention the state in which Mephibosheth was in yes. Yes. when the word came to him yes. that David was looking for him. Right. And I see it because he asks the king, yes. what is your interest in a useless, did he call himself a dog? A dog, yeah. Yeah, in a useless a dog. dog like myself. You may be feeling like that. You may be seeing you may not be lame, mm -hmm. but <clears throat> circumstances around you, everything mm -hmm. just seems that bad. He, he was seeing himself like a useless dog. Oh. He was lame. But remember, he used to be the prince. You know, he was in a kingly um, environment growing up and things went down and mm -hmm. he found himself there. So when word came that the king is looking for someone. Yes. And then he was pinpointed. Yes. The, the word came. He didn't find people walking on their two feet. Mm. It was for him. As much as he was lame, as much as he was low, yes. as much as he lacked food, he lacked everything. He lived like a street person, yes. you know. But the word came for him. It was for him and it wasn't for anybody else. Mm. Otherwise, if it was for just anybody else, mm. people who are worthy to eat with the king mm. would have come up. There were people around him, yep. I believe, yes. who could have been, yeah, this one looks good. He will not bring embarrassment to the table of the king. Mm -hmm. No, the word of God came to him, to him. And he said, what is it you see in a useless dog like myself? Wow. Can you imagine? But that did not change the king. Mm -hmm. He said, you will eat at my table every day. So he, he lived in the palace because he had to eat at the table. So his home had uh, servants had to go there and take care of business around yes. his home but for him because he had to eat at the king's table he lived in the palace may that be our portion wow. may that be our portion it doesn't matter how your situation is yes. when the word of the lord comes yes. take it Hallelujah. take it take it yes take it believe it and trust 
trust in the lord yes amen wow Wow. Mm. Our time is done. Mm. I was so excited about this week's study. There's oh, so much. We can't even There's get to so Bethsheba. Bethsheba. And the way people are talking. People are talking people about are Bethsheba. Bethsheba. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Join the conversation. It's There's really a conversation hot. going on about Bethsheba. The post you made, <laughs> what kind of woman was Bethsheba? <laughs> I just asked a question. I'm surprised. I just went wowing at every comment. Yes. I read, I'm like, I didn't see this like this. I read another one like, wow. You want to sample, wow, a, sample wow, a bit wow, of that? wow, wow, wow. <laughs> Bethsheba, Bethsheba, Bethsheba. It's long. Right. It's really long. Right. The will I find it? Bethsheba. Mm. Mm. David, 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 David. This is this is the closing yes. chapters of yes. yesterday, Friday's reading. Yes. And uh, we might just mention it because of the time. Yes. But David, mm. David, really, uh, sadly, after all those wonderful things, he wants to build the tabernacle. Yes. He's got the ark. He's yes. honoring the priest. He's, mm. he's been protective of us all. Mm. But and he's always been consulting God before he goes to battle. Mm. But one day. He met a battle that he didn't consult God about, mm-hmm. and that battle destroyed many, many things. Mm. He yeah, was on the rooftop yeah. mm. in spring. Mm. And when other kings other, were marching to yeah, war. Normally wars break out around that around time. Around that time. And he sent his commander in chief to go Joel. ahead. Yes. And he, he was on the war front for a very long time, as mm. you shall see in Chronicles. Mm. He was there for a very long time. Mm. But David stayed back mm. and uh, somehow his interest began to wander. Yeah, and uh, so he got involved in the roof. He got involved with Bathsheba. Mm. I wonder why she was bathing in the open, but anyway, she got involved <laughs> with Bathsheba. People are asking questions. I mean, what was yes. she doing? Was she exposing herself like that? And that you know, uh, was she intending yeah. to become the king's wife so she yeah. can have a son who's a prince? We don't know. Mm. You know, David used to marry many women, yeah, so we don't know what she was really thinking. The mm. Bible doesn't say, mm. but mm. David should mm. have consulted God in prayer mm. rather not consulted God, he should have asked God for strength. He always asked. Why he didn't he asked. ask at that time? I think yes. that is where the distraction came in. Yes. He always inquired of the he Lord. He should have been in the battle yes. in the first place. Yes, and God Job would. went by himself. Mm. Mm. He should have been in mm. the battle. Mm. But even if he stayed at home, mm. he should have prayed. He yeah. should have called Nathan, the prophet. Yeah, yeah. And he should have I said, prayed. I'm tired this time yes. round. I can't go yes. to the war, but let's pray that these people... Yeah. Accountability mm. partners. Yes. You have friends around you, and mm. if you are a married person, you are accountable to your spouse. Yes. If you're a man, you're accountable to your mm. wife. Mm. If you're a wife, you're accountable to your husband. Exactly. And you keep updated, you keep each other updated what is happening. Yes. And you keep talking about everything. Mm. Nothing under the carpet. Mm. Because David became kind of became like he mm. was alone. Mm. And you see, the enemy strikes. I'm sure you know this. When mm. you are isolated and you're alone, mm. that's when you're most vulnerable, vulnerable for the enemy's temptations to take you. Yes. I mean, this guy saw a naked woman bathing. Mm. I mean, completely mm. naked. And mm. his, his, his senses kicked mm. in. Mm. And he didn't think. He didn't, he didn't think, think he had other wives. He could have called his wives yes. because the, uh, he was at his palace. He was at his palace. Yeah. So he went and there. he took her. Mm. She agreed. She came along. Mm. She got pregnant. Mm. So you have an unwanted baby. You have an mm. affair. Mm. And then now he's lying now to his want general. To kill the husband. The general is mm. seeing the king is lying, mm. but he has mm. to cover up. Mm. You know. Mm. And then they, 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 they expose the man. The yes. man dies in mm. the battle. Mm. And then he sends mm. his messengers, mm. who are also aware mm. of what is happening. Mm. So some of his dirty work mm. really. Mm. Really, really messed him up. Mm. And then for he takes a moment. Yeah. If I, for a moment, yeah. I'm thinking yes. if Bathsheba had refused. Oh, if she had refused, had said no. I don't know what would have happened. Mm-hmm. I don't know where King Solomon would come, would have come from because King Solomon comes from her. He, he'd, but, have, he'd have been born from another. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how that would have played, yes. but I think if she would have acted yes. the way she should have, yes. uh, Uriah's life would have been spared as well. Yes. Because there are some things Mm -hmm. a wife can do and it brings so much danger and bad disasters in the house or in the home. I'm just thinking, I'm just thinking, yeah, Yeah, a lot of, a lot of people here are saying she was, she was a smart woman. Mm -hmm. I don't know whether you, when you say smart, the fact that David (laughs) was a king and called, (laughs) called you, are you supposed just to go? And is demanding of you what he should not be demanding not of be you. Mm-hmm. Should you just go? Yeah. Wow. Maybe if she would have said no, mm-hmm. we don't know what would have happened. Mm-hmm. But the fact that whatever happened happened because we are human. <coughs> what I learned from this is again, mm-hmm. no one is perfect. Yes. No one, even the most anointed of the Lord, yes, David, mm-hmm. fell. He fell. But the plans and purposes of God 
somehow mm -hmm. and the grace of God somehow continues in this great plan of salvation right. because this is the lineage mm -hmm. the great plan of God continues with faults and everything. everything what does that tell us God is aware that there are shortfalls when it comes to to men he we are covenanted with God, yes. but God understands on the human side mm -hmm. there's bound to be weaknesses and shortfalls and everything. Yes. But His grace upholds Amen. and continues because if He doesn't do that, He is not like man. Mm -hmm. If we fall, even Him, He says, mm, even me. If 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 that is how things would be, I mean, how would we even be we'll, saved? There will be nobody. On so we thank God for His being God. Amen. So we can't say. Uh, why did God allow the Shiba? Then why, why did God even do this? Why did we, we cannot say that. We can't say that. God is the perfect yeah. one. And with all his perfection and holiness, he's working with mankind who is full of faults and is falling. And his grace and mercy carries us. Because yeah. God does not blame us. He knows the enemy is, is one. Mm -hmm. The enemy is the the, the devil mm. not, us. not us and that's why he carries us with his mercies and his grace if we are we, we should be able to open our eyes and see how mm. god sees how, how precious we are yes yes so we go with what god says wow amen hallelujah amen. as you continue amen. to study that issue of mm. uh, the, the 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 fall of david yes uh, which we are not celebrating it's mm. a dark time mm. For the mm. nation of Israel, because yes. they are, the destiny of Israel then begins to change. Yes, we see many things happening. You mm. see, mm. Uh, the child born mm. after that relationship dies, but because David cried, mm. and now uh, Ria is dead mm. and he's taken Bathsheba, then a, a boy called Solomon is born, mm. and his name is Jedidia. So, um, mm. uh, Nathan comes and says, "God has said, this is the beloved," mm. and so. Uh, Solomon is born, mm. but the sin of David has that uh, sin has got consequences mm. in as much as you are forgiven and you are able to move on mm. Then there are consequences and mm. sometimes when you look at the consequences, we are motivated mm. then not to sin mm. because People say let me just sin and repent, mm. but the consequences don't go mm. So you want to look at the potential consequences mm. and you think twice now mm. David the house of David mm -hmm. because of the death of Uriah Mm -hmm. blood came into the house of David mm. and it started like a small joke mm. one step brother and one step sister mm. incest took place there a rape took place there mm. the other brother got angry killed this mm. other one mm. all right then one boy rebelled a tall handsome guy with long hair Absalom mm. Mm. he rebelled against David David himself yeah right mm. and uh, he did something that is unthinkable mm. and uh, now Job the army commander is looking for him mm. and he flees Mm. And as he flees, his head got caught, get caught up in the... He had an accident. Mm. He got stuck in the tree. Mm. Now, instead of catching him and bringing him back, according mm. to the instruction of the king, mm. they didn't waste time. They killed him immediately. Mm. And then Solomon, mm -hmm. born of, uh, uh, of, of, of David, mm. ends up having uh, 700 wives <laughs> and 300 concubines. Was it the other way around? A total of 1,000 <laughs> women in his life. And some of them are from the other parts of the nation that they've been fighting. Mm. And they import idolatry. And the idolatry wow. of Solomon yeah. now divides the nation mm. into two. Into Judah yeah. and into Israel. Mm. And then he asks, really? Mm. All this mess came out because of one little affair? It's mm. not a little affair. Mm. An affair is a big thing. Mm. To join together with somebody else. Because there are covenants involved. There are covenants involved in that. Mm. Mm. It's a very, very, very big issue. Mm. So uh, we will talk about that when we discuss the sin, mm. yes, the sin and sexuality. Mm. We will talk about that in another setting. Mm. But we want to thank the Lord for each one of you for having stayed on mm. to follow this discussion. Mm. We are over our time. I mm. want to thank Faith Ndinda mm. again since April the 30th to May yes. the 28th. Mm. You have been the top contributor. You have 204 comments Faith and 10 Ndinda. posts. <laughs> ten so posts. you win the first prize yeah. for today. <laughs> Uh, I want to also awesome. ten posts. Yes. I mean, I'm telling guys, post. Where are the men, <laughs> men, 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 post. Hey, Pastor Dan, post. But Pastor is part of the team, so yeah. <laughs> men, post, <laughs> post things. You know, ladies are sixty one point six percent. Yeah, and uh, the men are thirty eight point three percent. Wow. And uh, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Then uh, there is um, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, the mm -hmm. age distribution from 25 to 34 mm. and 35 to 44. So let me say from 25 mm. to 44. That's yes. the biggest age distribution. Yeah. But of right now, um, 
that is what is happening so yes. faith you win the first prize we will yes. get in touch the lord richly bless you we have mm -hmm. your details here yes uh then number you two we have the details number two we have uh, rachel mongeli rachel <laughs> and uh, this is not by any other way this is on facebook yeah we are not this making is the, it up this is the facebook app it's, it's it the, will tell you yeah the activity of the people we can't manipulate this so. yes so rachel mongeli you win the second prize god bless you you have yes. two posts yes and 115 comments wow. god richly bless you Amen. faith musioka you yes. are number three you also win the third prize yes you have 68 comments faith yes. you post something faith and discuss yes. Yes. and your numbers are going to come up yes. uh, there are many people who are on that line mm. uh there is nyamalo sally there is yes. kathy Ernest, yes. uh daniel mulwa christine mm -hmm. muhuni teresia kaleve wow. rose ngichu and mm -hmm. doris kajuju yes. you're on the top 10 <laughs> and so you have got the best potential, potential to come up to come but up. we want to encourage all of us yes. because we shall all receive the prize for this work from the, the Lord. Lord. This is just a token to mm. say that we acknowledge you and we celebrate you mm. and we thank you for having taken mm. heed mm. to do this. We want many people to read the Bible. Yes. And so all of us who are watching, mm. all of us, mm. so far we don't talk about denominations because we are non-denominational. Mm. We are all about the Bible. Yes. So tag your friends, mm. bring friends on board, mm. watch the YouTube channel IBFN mm. from where we have messages. Yes. We want to get more subscribers there so mm. we can reach even more people mm. outside and beyond this platform. Yes. In the name of Jesus. Yes. Amen. I like the congratulations are going up for Faith, Rachel and Faith. Hallelujah. Yes. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Yes. And so those who are uh, participating, that mm -hmm. is good. Mm. May you continue to grow in the knowledge and in, and in faith. Yes. And grow strong. Yes. In the name of Jesus. Yes. We are excited to say that we are able to upload the pro the program on YouTube. Yes. So shortly after this, we'll, this all this will be on right. YouTube yes. without having to divide it or all whatever. Right. Yeah. Continue to to support the YouTube channel. I be a fan YouTube. Right. Yeah, and may God bless you so much. Support support this channel. Yes, we want yes. you to support us in mm -hmm. this way. I keep mm -hmm. saying this every Sunday. Yes. <laughs> that you go to church tomorrow, yes. take your tithes and offerings to your local pastor. Mm. But for IBFN, because we're not a church as mm. such, mm. we are not an authority as such, mm. but your pastor is the authority. So yes. you take your offerings and your tithes to your pastor. Yes. But the support we are asking of you mm. is simply go to our YouTube channel. Yes. Subscribe. Yes. Help us to get to a thousand. Yes. And help us to get many views. <laughs> yes. We want, we want YouTube to honor us. Yes. In Jesus' name. That is how you're going to give to this ministry. Yes. Amen. Yes. Amen. I believe next Sunday you must mention about David being on the rooftop. There's a hot discussion There's a hot debate going, going on. on. Yeah. Zoe oh thinks my. she was not sharing in the open. Oh. Zoe, she thinks so. She and, was on uh, the rooftop. Uh, no. David was on the rooftop, right, and saw Bathsheba yes. showering, right. So we can't assume he, she was showering in the open. Okay, this guy was at an advantaged position. He was able to see. So he through. may have looked through. Oh. Yes, yes. Peeping Tom. So, yeah. Oh. Oh. oh, oh, wow, wow, wow. The guy has got other issues. <laughs> wow, guy has got issues. <laughs> Traveling, anyway, traveling eyes. <laughs> anyway, this is the beauty about reading the word. Yes. You can tell us in the comments. We will read next time we are talking about this. We'll bring them up in the discussion. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Continue to post. Continue to, to say what's on your mind. Be led of the Spirit of God because yeah. the Word of God, before you read it, invite the Holy Spirit. Exactly. You don't read the Word of God like you read other books. That's right. You invite the Holy Spirit. He's the one who leads us Amen. and guides us into the truth. Amen. Yes. And so take up these lessons you're getting from IBFN. Mm. See how you can apply them in your life and mm. also ask questions. Come in the inbox, talk to us. Mm. Ask us and let's talk about how this can benefit you, how you can grow. If you have problems spiritually, also reach out to your pastor. Ask a question here that you can look at the Bible and see how we can help you to get things in order. Yes. You are laughing. Something must Sorry. be very funny. <laughs> Tell me about Zoe, it. Zoe Baraka has way too much to say about this. I don't know what we are going to do. We should invite her. <laughs> we should bring her on the podium. On the podium we should put yeah. Zoe Baraka here. She says soon. she has way too much to say about this. <laughs> Baraka, you will be here soon. Amen. <laughs> Amen. But yeah. we have to go now because it's already yes. night in Kenya Our and other parts is, of Africa. Yeah. And thank you very much for staying this far mm. the lord richly bless you shall mm. we pray mm. in the name of jesus father we yes, thank you lord. for our viewers we thank you for our yes, broadcast lord. and yes, we thank lord. you for the yes, many lord. families thank represented you. here you, lord even as we have gone through the word thank of god you, just Rabbi examining Rabbi Rabbi and Rabbi learning Rabbi and being taught of you Rabbi we pray that we are not walking away from this with any pride but we are humbled and we are taught and we are pointed to the truth and even pointed to where we have sinned against you that you may come and repent that you may have a clear relationship with you in the name of jesus we give you praise and yes, we give Lord. you glory. Let yes, the peace Lord. of God and the goodness yes. of God 
the yes. mercies of God yes. rest yes. upon mm. those who are watching this yes. now and in the future. Yes. In the name, in the of, name Jesus. of Jesus. We give you praise and we give mm. you glory. Mm. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 God bless you. And mm. we shall see you in the next broadcast. Yes. Bye-bye.